Hello, my name is Trey Tyler. I'm a member of the technical staff here at VMware, a part of the Cloud Management Business Unit. In this video, we will be reviewing some sample code written in Python to import the firewall rules recommended by vRealize Network Insight into a VMware Cloud on AWS Software Defined Data Center. To get started, we must first decide on an application we would like to protect with the distributed firewall. For this demo, we will be protecting an application called Top Video. In our search bar, we will simply type plan security of application top video, which will take us directly to the micro segmentation planning page of that application. Once the application loads, we have the choice of selecting an individual application tier for protection by simply mousing over and clicking on the tier we wish to protect. For the purpose of this video, though, we would like to protect the entire application. If I go to the top right corner, I can export the entire application rule set to XML files in a zip folder. While we wait for the download to complete, let's go ahead and take a look at our cloud environment. This is accessed through console.cloud.vmware.com. We'll be particularly interested in the VMware Cloud on AWS section, but to get started, let's go ahead and get a refresh token for our script. To do this, simply click on your name on the top right portion of the screen and select My Account. From the My Account page, you will need to select the API Tokens tab. From here, simply generate a new token with the NSX Cloud Admin privileges on the VMware Cloud on AWS service role. Copy the generated token for use with the script later. After obtaining the refresh token, we must go look at our services to get more information on our Cloud SDDC. Select the VMware Cloud on AWS service. Then choose the software-defined data center in which we will be importing our rules. Finally, select the Support tab. This is where we will get the org ID and SDDC ID information which will be required for our script. Now let's go take a look at the existing distributed firewall configuration in this environment. As you can see here, I currently have four different firewall rule sections with various rules that have been implemented. Let's take a look at the existing security groups that exist. There are various ones that are already created in this environment, but we will be creating new ones for our new application. Lastly, if we take a look at the existing services, you can see that all of these are the default created services that come with NSX. Let's leave this screen on the distributed firewall before we run our script. Before we initiate the script, I wanted to take a quick look at the NSX rules that are exported from vRealize Network Insight. As you can see, for our top video export, we have multiple folders for NSX environments where the rules should be implemented. There will be one NSX rule folder for each NSX manager where virtual machines need to be protected. In addition, there is a universal folder that will have all rules for all NSX environments together. For this demo, we will be pushing rules from the NSX North folder to our VMware Cloud on AWS environment. Within this folder, our firewall rules will exist as a bunch of independent XML files. Each XML file will contain the source, destination, port, and protocol for that respective rule. Now, to run our Python script, simply execute it from a terminal or command line prompt with the following arguments. You will need to include the org ID, the SDDC ID, as well as your refresh token as arguments to run the script. In addition, you will want to include the dash dash app name with the application name that you will be protecting. This will become the firewall rule section for the newly protected application. Once you execute the command, you will be prompted to choose between NSXT or NSX on VMC. For this demo, we will select two for VMC. Since we've also passed the verbose argument, we should be getting notifications about what the script is doing at any point in time. We can see it has already created a policy section for the application top video application, as well as creating necessary security groups. Please notice that the security groups that are created are not currently being populated by the VM or IP members. You will need to add the virtual machines and IP members to the created security groups for the rules to operate properly. After finishing the security group creation, we will then move on to creating the services that each of the firewall rules will need. Once the service creation is completed, we can then move on to creating the firewall rules themselves. These rules are being created in a disabled state. If you would like them to be enabled by default, you would need to pass the appropriate argument when running the script. 
Coming back to our software defined data center, if we open and look at services, you can see that the script has successfully pushed the new services to our cloud environment. All imported services will have a default suffix to easily identify what has been created by the script. The same can be said for our newly created security groups. You can see here that these have been successfully created, but please remember that each of these groups has not been populated by its respective members. Lastly, if we go to our distributed firewall, you can see that we have a new section called Top Video Application that has been created. This new section contains 65 rules that have been pushed from the script. When expanding this section, we can see each of the individual rules has a security group as its source and destination. The unique services that have been created by the script are present as well, and each rule is applied only to the source and destination security groups in which they should protect. And if you look, you can see that each of these rules has been pushed to the distributed firewall in a disabled state. With all of our new firewall rules successfully in place, this does conclude our video for today. If you're interested in using this script for pushing rules to your NSXT environment or your VMware Cloud on AWS environment, please click the link below the video.